Say, I got a super spinner. That's a super spinner. I want to show you the coolest toy you've never seen before. My cousin Angelo came up with this idea. He calls it the super spinner. I think it's a lot more creative than the fidget spinners. Now since I grew up in Chicago, I thought it would be a good idea if I made a Chicago Cubs version of the super spinner. Check it out. So I've done some shopping at Hobby Lobby and Menards. Picked up this plastic canvas in cubby blue and white. And I've got these wooden spools. Plastic baseball beads. Fender washers. 16 gauge galvanized steel wire. And a wooden doll. We're gonna need about three inches of that thing. So we're going to want to measure four feet of wire. So with our four feet of wire, we're going to take the two ends and put them to, hold them together and squeeze it till we have a small loop at the top. We're going to take that loop and we're going to clamp it into the vise. Nice and tight. A little piece of electrical tape at the end. And we're going to stick that into our drill. Nice and tight. So this is the key to the whole toy, that washer. I'm going to show you how to bend that washer. Using our washer and device, we're going to want to clamp it in with the bottom of the hole at the top of the vise. Nice and tight. Take a hammer, get it flat. That's not the correct angle we need. We actually need it pushed in a little more. What I did is I cut this piece of wood on a 15 degree angle and you can see it's not quite right. We need to squeeze it a little bit more. So, taking a pliers, applying a little bit more pressure, squeezing it until we get it exactly right. Just to be sure, what you can do is slide it onto your wire and make sure that it doesn't actually slide on the wire. It should rotate. That's the only way it should work, is by rotating. It shouldn't be able to go up or down. Then you know you're on the right track. Now, in order to make our loops, we're gonna take our plastic canvas and count five holes. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna cut just on the right side of that. all the way across from end to end. That's going to be the length for the one loop. So we're going to want to overlap five holes. Hold it together with the pliers. We're going to try to staple on the outermost hole. Now, this can be a little tricky, stapling. The goal here is to staple on the last row, right in between the holes, and then we're going to pinch them down with our pliers. So, you might have to practice a few times before you get it right, but it should look like this, and then you pinch them down. Take your second one, we're going to do the same thing. Now we should end up with something that looks like that. Now, before we assemble, 
If you notice, these holes are too small for our wire. So what we're going to have to do is enlarge it with the drill. Now before we glue in the handle, we want to make sure that the toy actually works. So this should slide down. If it doesn't, you may need to drill your holes slightly larger, or you may need to make an adjustment to your washer to get it to slide correctly. This one here actually looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and put some glue in there. So we'll take our hot glue gun. Wipe out any excess. Let it dry. So after a creative paint job, I've completed the Chicago Cubs Super Spinner. I think it's a really fun project to do for yourself or for kids, and you can be as creative as you like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Alley Picked. Thanks for watching. See you next time.